The final match between Bastard Munchen and PXG is getting closer. Who is the egoist that will stand on top looking down at the other strikers? That person will be no other than Isagi Yoichi. The first reason should be the most obvious one. He's the protagonist of the story. He already went from an average high school footballer to someone who can play alongside the likes of Noel Noah. Protagonists always have this thing called plot armor. They are supposed to become the best because that's why they're the center focus of the story. Think about your favorite shonen like Naruto, One Piece, or Hunter x Hunter. All of those protagonists have main characters that have a dream. Luffy wants to find the One Piece in order to become the Pirate King. Naruto wants to become Hokage, and Gon wants to become a hunter in order to find his dad. Blue Lock is no different as it's been established from the start of the story that Asagi wants to become the world's best striker. And if that declaration had been made at the start of the story, I can assure you that it's going to come true. The most notable example of Asagi portraying his dream is when the Blue Lockers won against the U-20 team when he said that he will lead Japan to victory in the World Cup. If a protagonist has such extraordinary standards, you best believe that they have to do extraordinary things to get to their destination. So narratively, it makes sense to have Asagi become the king of the Neo-Egoist League as far as the Blue Lockers go. But remember, Isagi wants to not just become the best in Japan, but the best in the world. So this accomplishment would pale in comparison to his actual dream. The second reason is that Itoshi Rin isn't the final boss. I know that Itoshi Rin is performing extremely well right now on his quest to beat Itoshi Sai and destroy Isagi Yoichi, but that won't be enough to stop Isagi Yoichi. First of all, Isagi's ego and ambitions are bigger than Itoshi Rin's, and you know that stuff is about to go down when your own brother tells you right in front of your face that Isagi has what it takes to change Japanese football. Itoshi Rin has got berserker mode and a powerful team behind him, but Isagi has gotten the most broken ability in the entirety of Blue Lock, which is adaptability. The reason why this is the best ability is that no matter what you throw at him, he will come out on top. It doesn't matter how bad things get, this man will find a way because of his incredible football IQ and his ability to do introspection. He can destroy himself at will to become a new person. This is the one thing that can already propel him towards the world's best, exactly like he stole Kaiser's eyes in his match against Manshine City, or Naruhaya's ability to win one-on-one. -on -one. It could be that some things about Itoshi Rin haven't been revealed yet, but from what I know, he has really nice specs and can read the game well, and his shooting might be up there with one of the best. But overall, I'd say that Isagi's hunger and potential are greater than Itoshi Rin. As much as some people want him to make a comeback and destroy Isagi, it just won't happen especially since he got crushed by Itoshi Rin already as he had seen the massive gap between them in the second selection. In the U-20 game, Itoshi Rin still performed better than Isagi Yoichi overall, but Isagi managed to surpass him in the final seconds of the game just like he did in the third selection with Rin and Shidu. Now it's time for him to completely demolish Itoshi Rin and prove that he's superior. This ties into my third reason, which is that Isagi has way more exceptional foes to step over. The first and most prominent one is Julian Loki, as he's the same age as him and already in the new Gen 11. You'd say that Michael Kaiser is a huge threat for him, but Isagi has already proven that he could destroy him, so he wouldn't be the biggest threat. The biggest threat wouldn't be in the older generation either since they're going to retire soon anyway. We are probably going to get some new names from different countries, as well as they are probably going to be revealed inside of the U-20 World Cup arc. His fellow Japanese egoists are merely a stepping stone, as we also know that Japan is inherently not the best in football. Even when Ego Jinpachi raises strikers, he still has to go up against formidable people anyways, and I'm sure that the rivalries he creates in the U-20 World Cup are going to carry over to the actual World Cup as well. So why would he afford to lose in his match against PXG? I don't see Asagi losing as that just wouldn't make sense narratively. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. My fourth reason is the fact that he's under the supervision of Ego Jinpachi. There's no denying that this maniac favors Asagi above the rest. He must have drafted him in with the intention to put him through the right hardship so that his ego could be stirred up like in Chapter 1 when he gave that exact example of when he lost his ticket to the Nationals, but through the lens of the World Cup. He could have given any example, but he specifically chose that one which also means that he knew what happened to him. His background checks are quite extensive, to say the least. Another thing that ties into this is the fact that he got number 299 to make him feel as inferior as possible so that he gathers enough hunger to evolve so that he can conquer all the situations on his path. He faces a lot of despair which leads him to victories in the future. And in Chapter 2, 
he literally simulated a penalty box in order to reinforce the belief system that he wanted Isagi to attain. When he walked down, the defeated faces of Team Y Ego Jin Patchy got excited about that as well. Many people consider Noel Noah a bad coach, but if you really think about it, he has helped Isagi a lot. The thing that stuck out to me the most was when he talked to Isagi about his ideal in chapter 158. After Isagi was struggling to get his ideal down, Noel Noah told him that his values already failed just now as he could not not know something about his own plans, as he wanted him to visualize an ideal situation that he could explain and verbalize completely. Not knowing something means there is wishful thinking in his thought process which is merely noise, and that lack of logic could destroy any plan. He does not choose people like that to be regulars. After Isagi asks what he lacks, Noel Noah told him that he needs to review his way of thinking, as he asks Isagi what the first thing he does in the morning consists of. Is his first action something that brings him closer to being the best in the world? Is every moment, second, minute, and day of his really doing anything for him to get closer to becoming the world's best? Those words must have had a massive impact on Isagi Yoichi. Another thing that had a lot of impact was when Isagi couldn't bring his thoughts to reality, because he lacked physical specs in their game against Mansign City. Noel Noah decided to ally with him, though, as he considered him to be the most rational in the team. He could see it now as he asked him if all those options could be achieved realistically. He confirms that they are as he asks if there are any wishful thoughts, such as that he doesn't know. But that wasn't the case, as he couldn't pick the best route. Noah told him to get rid of unnecessary noise as he was too greedy. He wants him to streamline his thought process instead. He wants him to think logically as he asks him what he desires the most. And he responded that he wanted to crush Michael Kaiser, which actually helped him as he crushed him in their match against Ubers because he won the bet and scored more goals than him. One of the biggest influences that contributed to Asagi's growth in Blue Lock is undeniably the egoists that were around him. Baru Shue made him realize that he didn't have the power to change others, but could change behavior by changing himself, which was how he ended up completely devouring Baru. Nagi Seishiro made him realize that there are crazy geniuses out there who have put in way less effort to get to the place he wants to be, so he has to work hard. Itoshi Rin made him feel the depths of despair as the gap between them used to be very big, which gave him the drive to keep leveling up and keep changing. Shidu Ryusei taught him that even the weirdest reasons for your goals can get you to your destination. Bachira has taught him that healthy competition is a very healthy thing to have and should be reinforced in the world of professional sports. Ego Jinpachi has literally taught him how to win in excruciating detail with all his speeches. Noel Noah is teaching him how to win as well as he's literally the world's best striker at the moment, making Asagi match up with his ideal in terms of his goals. Being mentored by the guy who is in the position you want to be in is a blessing in disguise. Chigiri has taught him that you can get pretty far with your ideals. Plenty of egoists have sparked chemical reactions with him as well. Watch this video next where I go into detail as to why Ego Jin Pachi chose Isagi.